Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome back to Shrine Watch, the weekly show where we take a look at news coming out of DBD community, check out some fan art, some memes, the Shrine of Secrets perks and then take them into some games. Now we don't have much to really talk about this week, honestly a week today the Bone Chill event starts and we have a trailer for that which we'll check out in just a second, but apart from that we're really just waiting around twiddling our thumbs. You know, this always happens before an event or before a patch, there's a little bit of a lull, nothing really happened. Not much news coming out, and then it all hits, and the craziness begins. So let's have a little look at the trailer for the Bone Chill event. Once again comes the snow to paint the world white. As the chill settles in on a cold winter's night. It crawls up your spine, hardens skin into ice. Doesn't care if you're naughty. Doesn't care if you're nice. For the chill is a blanket that smothers and strangles. Below, where the bodies and mistletoe dangle, there's a gift that awaits. Unto you we bequeath. It is a swift, painless death, that climactic release. So should you feel the cold in your bones, never fear. The fog welcomes all when the bone chill is here. So we can see in there this sort of main gameplay elements. We've got this spooky snowmen that players, both killers and survivors, can get into. Snowballs being thrown around by the survivors. And you can see at the end there, thrown at a snowman where the hag busted out. So it broke her out of the snowman. And also a ton of cosmetics that are coming with that patch. And we can have a little look at them here. We can look at the store cosmetics, which are on your screen now. We've got the nurse, we've got the hag, Jane and Yui, snowboard Yui, Christmas present Jane. Uh, I don't know how the hag skin has got anything to do with Christmas or the holidays, but yeah, I've got no idea. If anyone's got, oh, is she a Christmas tree? I don't know. Uh, and the nurse, the nurse, beautiful. I hope that is not a legendary set because the crown, I'm going to be wearing that. The ugly sweaters that are coming for Chucky and Ripley, they are paid. But for free, we're getting Thalita, Renato, and Gabriel. Gotta say, I'm actually a big fan of Gabriel's and Thalita's. And then the event rewards that we can get for free, we've got this Wraith skin, and we do have Santa Jeff. Beautiful. And it looks like it also won't be a legendary set, so you can have big bearded Jeff. I'm super into that. Uh, and then we've got a weapon for the clown, a cute little Christmas tree stabber. For the hillbilly, we've got... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's uh, undecided. It's like a, oh, it's a fire hydrant with mistletoe or pine leaves on it or whatever. And for the wraith, we got a big old chopper. With the Halloween event, we saw that the wraith got a weapon and it really was small. Like when you use it in game, compared to his other weapons, it's about half the size. So hopefully this Christmas weapon for the wraith is going to be absolutely massive. Uh, it looks cool anyway, I like it. Starts next Thursday on my birthday and I will be streaming over on Twitch, actually probably on YouTube as well. So subscribe here if you're new or follow on Twitch and I would love to see you there. And unfortunately, that's really all that I've got to talk about at the moment. So let's have a look at some beautiful bits of fan art from the community Check out the Shrine perks, and as it's a shorter one, jump into some games. First up, an actual bit of fan art that I received in my PO box from Norse Pearl. This absolutely beautiful rendition of my three pets as the Legion. Really beautifully done. This is done in hand on paper. I've already framed it up, uh, and it's just amazing. Honestly, thank you so much, Norse Pearl. This is beautiful. It's going on the wall, and it will stay there probably forever. Next off from the community, from Rotten Rosen, we have this Legion, uh, another Legion, uh, looking really cool, looking really spooky. I just like the art style, and good job to you. Trollwork Studio, the alien, obviously trying to hunt the survivors, but they're not playing. One of them's hugging, one of them's flashing the flashlight in their face, and the other one is furiously teabagging. I guess that's just showing that players do like the Xenomorph. 
maybe a little bit too much. Visible bun with the huntress in a tuxedo. I just love the art style of this. I just think it looks really cool. Looks really pro. Uh, and I just wanted to include it because I like it. And Dilu art with this absolutely stunning Tiffany. This is super high quality. Behavior should somehow use this. You can see human Tiffany's eyes reflected in the blade. And she's sitting on top of a generator. Come here, sweet face. Beautiful. And finally, from Jinx Chance, we have Yoonjin and the Trickster having a little hug on the floor. Uh, I just liked it, okay? I just saw it and I was like, I want to include that. Cool. Right. Well, there is our news. Pretty sparse, but hopefully we'll have more to talk about next week. Let's take a look at the Shrine of Secrets perks and then take them into some games. Over on Survivor, our first perk is Wiretap from Ada, a licensed chapter. After completing half a generator, Wiretap will activate. You can put it onto the generator and you'll be able to see the killer's aura for 120 seconds when they're within 14 meters of the gen. However, when the killer kicks the generator, it will go off. But definitely an interesting perk. I see a lot more people using this now and getting big value out of it. If you buy it for shards, you don't have to buy Ada. Good for people who are playing free to play. Second up, another licensed perk, this one from Nicolas Cage. It's Plot Twist, the meme perk. You can activate this when you're injured to put yourself into the dying state. You'll make no sound and leave no blood pools, and you can fully recover. When you're fully recovered, you'll jump up fully healed, and you'll get 50% haste for three seconds. You can use this once during the main game, and then another time after the exegates are powered. You know, it's an interesting, different way to heal yourself up. Over on Killer, we've also got two licensed perks. Wow, it's a full licensed week. First up from the pig, we have Make Your Choice. When a survivor rescues another from the hook and you're at least 32 meters away, Make Your Choice will expose the rescuing survivor for 60 seconds, allowing you to go chase after them and knock them straight down. Kind of a clutch perk when combined with other things like Floods of Rage. And finally, from Wesker, we have Terminus. When the fifth generator is completed, the perk will activate and any injured, downed, or hooked survivors will be broken until the exit gates are open. Once the gates are open though, they will stay broken for an additional 30 seconds. So really this counteracts adrenaline on the hook, which is a big thing. In fact, it counters adrenaline full stop. If a survivor is injured and the last gen pops, I believe Terminus takes priority over adrenaline. So they will not get the heal. They will get the speed boost, but still a clutch end game perk if you're using it correctly or if you're lucky, maybe consider buying this as of course, these are all licensed perks and you can only get them by spending real money. So let's take those perks in some games and see if we can get some value out of them. Putting up cameras in good spots. Take one. Should probably not be recording myself learning how to play a killer properly, but whatever. Hey Dwight, what's up? Okay, I bet you're wishing you hadn't pointed to me then, Dwight. Kind of, <laughs> kind of weird, but Whatever. Oh, I risked that for a biscuit. All right, we're going for the scourge hook. So, uh, now we get away from the hook. Make your choice will proc. When you get saved, we will be able to see which way they're going and hopefully uh, get some sort of awesome success. Let's have a look over here. Okay, nothing. Look over here. I see you. And the chase is on. Oh, didn't drop. Okay, this team not giving me huge vibes on their confidence. Uh, I'm just going to keep it rocking. They got a gen done though, so that's nice for them. Hey, Davey, we've got people getting injured all over the place. I've got your number, Dave. Okay, right, so... Now we teleport. The hell? We teleport, and I believe Meg is the one that's make your choice. She was not. God damn it. All right, well, at least everyone's injured now. Everyone's having a bad time. <gasps> Except for Meatball. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Uh, I guess if they're not, if everyone's injured, then make your choice isn't really doing it. But Floods of Rage, definitely helping out. Scream! Here we go. Oh boy. Damn, I just got that vision. Unfortunately, you went into that wall because honestly, you were doing great on that one. Bonk. 
Wait a second. Oh, make your choice was on her? Didn't even notice. Absolute bonus round. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're getting somewhere. Three hooks. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of convenient. Make your choice. Absolutely rock there. Hey, Dave. Did he not go? Let's get the Dwight. Nice. Man, I do actually think that Singularity is quite fun to play. There can be games where he's incredibly enraging and you're just messing up all of your uh, plans and your plays and your cameras and stuff, but this is going better than I had expected. Let's see if we can keep it going from here. Scratches. Scratches. Beautiful. Damn, she's down? What the hell, man? Make your choice is clutching the entire game. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to use your jeans, Cheryl. I'm going to wear them out. Still only one generator. Unbelievable. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Seven hooks. Alright, I think I've dominated this game. To be fair. Uh, I'm just going to just use the scourge hook. I think she's dead. That's okay. I'm sorry. One gen completed. Crap. Just had some sort of stranglehold here. It's been bloody beautiful. And we teleport. Super fast fault the window. Yoink. <laughs> oh dear. That's <laughs> That's unfortunate. Alright, and then we're down to two survivors. Wait a sec, two survivors with four hooks. Okay. Fine. Let's keep it going. Uh there's Dwight. What's up, Dwight? <laughs> <sighs> Holy crap. I guess maybe for once my... Dwight. I guess for once I'm actually using decent cameras. Big shocker. I want to, um... I want to get the final Mori. The yellow Mori. Nice, Dave. Oh, I could have got that teleport on him. It's really... There we go. Really finicky to get. Sometimes it just does not work. <laughs> oh, God. Feels good. Feels like a good one. Right, will I be able to find the final survivor? Oh, you're on first hook. All right, Dwight's dead, and then if I can find David, he is also dead, and we can... Oh, God. We can explode his face. Uh, definitely an interesting one. I feel like I'm definitely getting better with Singularity, but... It's just all down to the survivors. If they're using EMPs correctly... Good freaking luck. Must... Explode David's face. Scratches? Bonk. Nice, David. I'm going to be exploding your face. All right, GG. Uh, I tried. Sorry, Davey boy. That looks cool. It is over. It's over, David. Goodbye to your face. Uh, GG. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I do recommend people give Meatball a second chance. Because he is tough, but 
when it works out, it works. And it's fun. No perks, David. What an absolute chad. Okay, so a bit of Nick Cage. Why the heck not? We've got Plot Twist. We've got Wiretap. I've got Lithe and Inner Strength. Inner Strength, not Inner Healing. Weird. And bringing a brand new part. Why not? Oh! Okay, right. He's right underneath me, so that's nice. All right, we have Wiretap active. Should we just... Bosh it? Boop. Jonah's gone down there. Fine. All these things are fine. Uh, if I finish this generator, I will be laughing. Please no pain res. Please no pain res. Please no pain res. Oh. Right. In the locker. And we hide. He knew where I was. He could see my aura for 10 seconds. <laughs> Fuck! Jonah's name is I Love My Teammate, so I honestly want him to escape. I want him to survive. Have you brought the killer straight back to me, Yui? That would be great. Thank you! Alright. Now, I run. Please, Michaela. I've got plot twist, actually. I could have plot twisted. And we're getting wiretap back on the go. I do need to, at some point in this game, actually get injured and go and plot twist because that's my perk. That's the shrine perks. Uh, we're actually chunking these gens. Gotta say, respect Yui. You got chased for a while. Though. You've clutched this game for us. Ding. All right, so Michaela got spotted. Apprehensive here. Do it! I'll do it then. What the hell? He's coming back, and he's angry. And tiny. Jeez. He's angry with someone. He's angry with Jonah. Wait, does that mean that he broke this door? He did not break this door. All right, well, we know that. Those two guys are doing the gen up there. Honestly, three hooks, four gens. Absolutely star progress for my team here. All right, here's where I always get stuck, though. Can I find the last bloody generator? Oops. Michaela, chase straight away. Beautiful, Michaela. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, let's go in for the save. He's been saved already. Where? I guess maybe the last gen's in the center of the map. I don't know how it's so hard to find the last gen on this uh, midwitch. It literally drives me crazy whenever I'm playing Survivor. Playing Killer, yeah, you can find it pretty easy. I kind of want to be... She's the obsession. Yep, that's what I was kind of hoping not to happen. Chucky? Okay. There's a gen. Right in the center of the map. Michaela getting farmed. No, Michaela, please have decisive strike. D strike. D strike. D strike. No D strike. Oh, piss. All right. And we're running away for 20 seconds. And we're running away. Still running away. I need something. Okay, exposed running out in three, two, one. One, thank God for that. Chucky, little devil. Oh. Hate that. Oh, he's going straight back for Michaela. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's not going for Michaela. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. F 
fucking dead. <laughs> well, I survived for a second. Multiple seconds. No, Chucky. Oh, God, look, we've got a player doing a plot twist over there. Someone else doing shrine perks. Respect. And they're split pushing the gens. Oof. Tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Uh, will I get saved, though? That's the question. Michaela saves me. I can just go plot twist or even get into a locker with inner strength. Jonah finishes the gen. We're actually just absolutely sorted here. We've done a great job. I'm proud of you, team. I like you. You can survive. You're on, you're on the cool people list. Thanks, Michaela. Fucking killer's coming, Michaela. Oh, no! Fuck off, Chucky. Well, hate that. I'm just hoping this works. Is it the biggest plot twist play of your life? Jonah, I'm cool, dude. I'm cool. I got plot twist. No, don't. What's he doing? Bro, did you fucking seriously just do that? Oh my god, Jonah. Absolute asshole. Kill the Jonah! God damn it. Oh! Morium! Oh my god, the. What the fuck? Well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I appreciated you being here and watching till the end. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content, come over TikTok, Discord, YouTube, Twitch, you know, all the things. Uh, nice to see you. Catch you soon. Hand it out.